This is going to be the globe. For the globe, what you're going to need is you're going to need, uh, these come in 11 inch rounds. Um, they're pre-printed with the globe on them, which is a really nice effect. Um, inside the globe, I put a little piece of balloon. It's actually called a P-twist. The way you make that is you just take a, a little scrap piece of balloon and you continue to tie a whole bunch of knots. So you just keep tying it around and around and around until it becomes just a little hard piece of, of latex. You stick that inside the balloon before you blow it up and that's what's in there now. You're also going to need uh, a 260, blow it all the way up, tie the ends together, let some of the air out, make it nice and soft. Another 260, blown up about four to five fingers uninflated. This is going to be the, what holds the, the stem or holds the globe on. And this is going to be the base. What you're going to do is start out with about a three to four inch bubble, just like that, and then followed by a one inch bubble following that, that three to four inch bubble. You're going to ear twist this one. So you want to give that an ear twist, just a very simple ear twist. You're going to take your globe and attach the knot to where that ear twist is at. You're going to have to do this to kind of get the right size of it. So once you have the knot, you're actually going to tie that just like that to the ear twist. You're going to bring this balloon up till about the center. You want to leave a little bit of space over here in between. So you want to see a little bit of light between there. And once you get up to the top, kind of give that a pinch, let the balloon down, and give that a twist. So right there, that's the very top of our globe balloon. You're going to make an ear twist. So you're going to make a one inch bubble, ear twist that one inch bubble, make another one inch bubble, and ear twist that one inch bubble as well. Now the rest of the balloon we can kind of leave off, but we are going to leave enough to make one more one inch bubble. So you want to break the balloon, let that piece go, hold onto this balloon before you let it go, and spin off a one inch bubble, then let the ear go. Now I've just made a one inch bubble there. Tie that knot, and then take that knot and wrap that around the other ear twist. So basically what you have is you have three ear twists on the top. Now we're gonna use that P twist that's inside this balloon. What you wanna do is come down to the balloon and pinch it to where you can find where that P twist is at and give it a little bit of shake because of course that's gonna to wanna to go all the way down to the bottom. And as soon as you find it, hold on to it and give it a twist. So right now I've twisted the, the 11 inch round there. You want to take that little P twist, that piece of balloon that we put in there, and wrap that around your ear twist. So take that, wrap that around your ear twist a couple times, and that'll cause that to lock down, and it'll cause your globe to stay nice and neat. Oops, I lost it. I'm going to do it again. Hold on to that P twist, give that a twist, wrap that around your ear twist, Straighten out your balloon so you have it nice and even. You can kind of give this a flex to make it a, to make it really nice. And what you should have is your globe on a little stick and then a little arc around there. We can set that aside and make our base so it'll actually stand up on a table. What you're going to do is take your, your 260 that you blow up all the way, let some air out, tie the ends together. Same way you do the top of the palm tree or a four petal flower, you're going to give that a pinch. You're going to pull, pinch, give that a twist. So you have two equal chambers. Right in the middle, you're going to pinch it and twist that around. So now you have four of them that are all the same size. You're going to, oops, you're going to pinch that, twist that again. So you have that. You're going to fold these two together. So the knot and the, the twist, the twist that we made are there, and then that's the center. You're going to squeeze these two together, putting your finger and your thumb around it, and giving that a twist around. So you've just made an X. This is also going to be just like the top of the palm tree. Now, to get that to stay nicely on a table, it's going to be kind of wobbly if you do it this way. You want to do the palm tree effect, so you have those curves. So basically, about two inches on each one of these, you're going to give that a pinch and a twist. So right here, you're going to pinch the balloon, and you're going to twist it, causing you to get that, that palm tree effect, which is actually going to make that stand, make it sit down really nice and, and, nice, and nice and even. So you're going to give it a pinch and a twist, a pinch and a twist, and a pinch and a twist on all four sides. And that's going to that's gonna make the, the base of the globe sit up on a table. Now, you can take this piece, take your globe, take the, the long knot that you have down here on the end of the globe, and wrap that around right here in the middle. So take that, wrap that around a couple times, straighten everything out, and what you should have is a globe that will actually sit down on a table nice and neat. And it's a good one for if you're doing a school with um, a geography teacher, um, I personally love to travel, so this is one of my favorites. But it's a nice little base to hold that globe up.